even in Britain, which has run as a monarchy for all these years, the Scots have their own ministerial uh, uh, system. They have ministers running Scottish affairs. You have a minister for Welsh affairs. And we are here wanting to deal with 253 ethnic groups, or slightly less. And we want to promote only three of them, or four of them, as the case may be. So you will find, in all the ideas that are being put forward now, we want six federations, we want eight federations. What are they saying? Allow the Hausa, the Yoruba, the Igbo to have one federation each. Then corral all the other minorities into certain federations. But in a true federation, all ethnic groups are equal, irrespective of size. If you talk of democracy, democracy is about that equality. And if you don't practice it, you are not a democrat. So, my uh, advice, if we want to keep this country together, we must not accept simplistic solutions. This is a very complex country. If you look at what I want as an Ogoni, carefully. If you look at what the Shekiri want, carefully. If you look at what the Hausa want, carefully. We may be able to save the situation. But if you take simplistic solutions, we are running into a lot of trouble. That is where the regions failed before. And three regions failed, four regions failed, now people are talking of six regions. Twenty years after, after that failure. I submit that it is wrong. I have a, 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 an idea what we, we can do. We must seek a formula. Besides, the United Nations itself has been working very seriously over the last 15 years on the question of minorities and of indigenous peoples. There are indigenous peoples in Nigeria. Yesterday I was sitting near a, a young man. He is a Kanuri, but he settled in Lafia. I have a very fine friend from Lafia, Alaji Maidonoma, very, very fine man, but he's a Kanuri, but he's Turaki of Lafia. Lafia belongs to the Ninzam people. What are the Ninzam people supposed to do? Are they supposed to like it? The same situation applies in Bauchi, where a lot of peoples are on Bauchi, where a lot of peoples are under the arm of other people. They are black people, all right, but it creates a situation of oppression. I submit that we have to look at it very carefully. Now, we must seek a formula which allows all ethnic groups in Nigeria to achieve self-determination and self-respect. This matter of self-respect is important. I go through the whole of this hall. I'm the only Ogoni man here. Is there any other Ogoni man? No. <laughs> you are wearing the wrong clothes, my friend. <laughs> Now, that, that, that he's, creates... He's as, tall, he's as tall as you are too. Yes, he is. <laughs> Sitting down, he's as tall as I am. <laughs> now, basically, the, the, a, a country of this nature create, creates tremendous problems. For some people who never hear their, their language on radio, on television, and when they go into offices, they don't see anybody who can relate to them. And government today is a question of information. If you have information, you can do well. Business is a matter of information. Now, all these peoples are deprived of these rights. I speak for them, and I say that they have a right to exist. It's even worse when you provide all the resources, and then somebody comes along and uses specious arguments and deprives you of them and tells you you are in one country. What assurance do I have? What assurance do we have that tomorrow the powerful among us will not just say, look, we don't want anything to do with Nigeria anymore. And they will actually walk away, and we can't stop them. But when we, the small people, want to go away, then they will come and say, look, we have, we have the army. We will get together, and we will show you pepper. No, sir, I don't accept it. <laughs>